Hello, my Capricorns, and welcome to your August love reading. This is going to be a love reading for the first half of August. Capricorn, just keep in mind, if you are not new to my channel, to subscribe, because I will be posting August love readings all weekend, as well as August mid-month love readings, as well as weekend love readings, daily love readings, and pick a card love readings. Capricorn, also, if you're not new to my channel, welcome back and thank you for being here with me. I appreciate you so very much and I appreciate and love, love all of the support you all give me. It is very much, I'm so grateful for all of it. Also, Capricorn, you can check out your sun, moon, rising, or Venus sign because not all messages will resonate with every Capricorn out there. Also, Capricorn, keep in mind that the energy can be going vice versa. So if this is not you, this can definitely be the person that you will be dealing with in the first half of August or are dealing with already in the first half of August because time is fluid. Some of you um, could have already been dealing with this or will be dealing with this closer to the second half of August. So thank you, Capricorns. Let's get into it for my Capricorn spirit for my Capricorns for the first half of August in their love lives. For my Capricorns for the first half of August in their love lives. Spirit for my Capricorns for the first half of August in their love lives. All right. Oh my goodness. Spirit for my Capricorns the first half of August in their love lives. All right. So Capricorn, we have here balance. This is temperance. This card belongs to Sagittarius. We also have clarity of belief, the ace of swords. We also have share the love. This is the three of cups, water energy, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. We have here the ace of swords, Aquarius, Gemini, Libra energy. So, um, a Capricorn, I feel as though possibly some of you could have been waiting to hear from somebody. Um, I feel as though, Capricorn, there is a sense where um, there needs, there was ba a lot of balance that needs to be restored here with the person that you are with. Possibly, I feel as though with temperance, this is showing me here that there is a lot of things that you have been through either with this person or in general in love and in life and I feel as though there is a need for a lot of healing but there's a lot of need there's a need for a lot of spiritual healing as well as healing to this partnership with balance coming out here and I feel like you know for a lot of you Capricorns I feel like you've been waiting to hear from somebody or been waiting for more clarity on the situation that you're in doesn't have to necessarily be hearing from somebody or you know what a lot of you Capricorns could just be waiting to hear from your partner that like you guys are going to go out and do something <laughs> for a lot of you Capricorns you may just be waiting to hear from your partner that they like have a plan for you two to go out and have fun or for you two to go on a little date together something along those lines because I feel like there is either a reconciliation for some of you Capricorns happening or for um you Capricorns, you're either getting clarity on either the person you're with or maybe, you know, for some of you Cap Capricorns, you're getting clarity on the person that you used to be with. And it's helping you bring more balance to yourself as well as your love life in general. Because with the clarity of belief here, this is receiving um clarity on our situation but also receiving new communication as well so you may be hearing of something but you also may be getting communication into yourself for a lot of you Capricorns this is somebody reaching out to you but for others of you Capricorns this may be somebody reaching out to you giving you clarity on something you've been through in the past possibly somebody um, put you in a third party situation here with share the love the three of cups but this could also be for some of you Capricorns that you are gaining clarity on the relationship you are in and there's going to be more love in the relationship relationship you are in there's going to be more joy there's going to be more happiness I feel as though your partner may be making plans for you two to go out but for others of you Capricorns I feel as though there's a reconciliation that is long awaited or some sort of communication that's long awaited 
or just like I said, some clarity on uh, somewhere that you used to be. And you are going to be receiving this clarity as well. So let's get a Romance Angels card here for you, Capricorn. Spirit, can I please have one Romance Angels card here for my Capricorns in love? Spirit for my Capricorns in their love lives. Can I please have one Romance Angels card for my Capricorns in their love lives for the first half of August? All right, and we have here trust. This situation is calling for you to have faith. Wow, all right. So that's having faith in yourself, having faith in this person, but also having faith in love in general. Because I feel as though, you know, Capricorn, I feel like you may be meeting somebody out as well. Like, I feel like somebody's like going to, not that you're like going to a party, but you could be celebrating with somebody or going out somewhere and meeting somebody. And I feel like this person is going to be, they want to communicate with you. They want to talk with you. They want to bring balance to this situation and they want to bring balance to you as well. But all right, Capricorn, I really feel like for my people in relationships already, I feel like you may be hearing from your partner that they want to like do something. They want to go out. They want to have fun. They want to share the love. They want to have fun with you. They want to be happy with you. Um, for others of you Capricorns, I feel as though there may be somebody that you've been waiting to hear from coming in. They have some communication with you. They want to reconcile with you. You may actually be seeing this person out. It may has, have taken quite some time for you to reconcile with this person as well. And um, with balance here, the need to be patient with this temperance card. So I do feel as though for some of you Capricorns, this could have been a long awaited communication. For others of you Capricorns, I do feel, I feel like you just may be meeting somebody new and you um there's a very strong possibility you're meeting this person out possibly through friends or when you're out with friends or maybe you're just out with one friend and you see this person out and they make it you know three is a party you know but it's like you're uh, gaining some sort of clarity on possibly why you had to have patience for something so it's either you're gaining the clarity of why you had to have patience with the person you're with, gaining clarity on why you had to have patience and trust with trusting yourself as well, and or somebody coming back in here with communication or just a plain old new person that I feel like you will be meeting while you're out like having fun. So Capricorn, a lot of different messages here. So remember to take what resonates and leave what doesn't because I am trying to read for every Capricorn out there, my ones who are single, separated, and in partnerships. So just remember that Capricorn as you are watching this reading. So let's get some tarot on this because there's definitely somebody coming towards my Capricorns. Definitely. So spirit for my Capricorns for the first half of August in their love lives. Spirit for my Capricorns for the first half of August in their love lives for my Capricorns. All right. Capricorn, we have the Ten of Pentacles. We have the Empress, the Seven of Cups. The Four of Wands, the Lovers, and the Eight of Swords. Wow. Yeah, there's definitely some of you that are in a relationship right now. Absolutely. And you know, I feel like Capricorn, you're finally gaining the clarity on why you had to go through all you had all you had to go through in the past with this person. For you two to be where you are today. So we have the Ten of Pentacles here. I feel as though um, a lot of you Capricorns are either married to this person, renewing the love with this person, or you know what, Capricorn, this person sees you as somebody that they could be with for the long run, or vice versa, Capricorn, you see this person in that light as well. The Ten of Pentacles is Earth Energy, Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus. There is longevity to this partnership, but there's also longevity to what you have been through as well and the foundation you have been trying to build for yourself. So I feel like a lot of you Capricorns, I feel like you're meeting this person and or that you uh, 
um, this person's coming back into your energy because they see you as the wifey type or the husband type. It does not have to be um, because of the empress. It does not have to be that you are a woman. But it's like this person is coming back into your energy or this person is seeing you for who you truly are right away. It's like, oh my goodness, Capricorn is it. They have it all. They have growth. They have stability. They have this, this like, um, this, like, it's like, you're like, what's the word? It's like you're oozing, like, marriage material. That's what I want to say. Yeah. It's like this, if someone's meeting you or somebody is coming back into your energy or like maybe somebody is already in your energy and like this person is looking at you as somebody that they want to be with, somebody that they want to couple with, somebody that they can actually marry in the lo long run with the Empress. This is um, Taurus Libra energy, somebody that they can, you can bear their children or you can have children with them. Um, I feel as though for you, a lot of you Capricorns who have already dealt with this person's energy I feel as though possibly they may have put you in a third party in the past maybe caused you to be a little bit emotionally confused maybe even chose somebody else over you before in the past with this lover's card of having to make a choice of having to um make a very important romance decision choice but with the seven of cups here this is where it's showing me that there may have been other options with the three of cups as well here and I feel like for my Capricorns that are already with somebody, I feel like this person possibly could have chose somebody else over you in the past. And I feel like now that they're coming back around or now that they're back looking at you as like being like everything that they could have ever dreamed of, it may be causing you to have a little bit of emotional confusion. You know, you may not be fully trusting the fact that they really view you this way or that they really want to make it work this time or that they really want to have that victory with you they want to bring clarity to this situation but you know what Capricorn they do really want this but I feel like Capricorn you're just a little bit confused you're feeling a little bit like all over the place or possibly you know like maybe this person is like saying one thing but then doing another causing you to feel a little bit confused or maybe you just feel like it's just too good to be true really you may just feel like it's too good to be true and you're just like, there's no way that this person who did all of this stuff to me in the past is actually going to come back together with me and actually try to make it right. So there's definitely some sort of not trusting of this person's return. Um, for others of you Capricorns, I feel like you've just been through so much in the past that this person is going to see you for who you are in your real light right away. That it's going to cause you to feel a little bit emotionally confused. There's going to be a decision to make. I feel like Capricorn, you're going to have to make a decision with if you want to embrace this person's offer or not. Because we have the Four of Wands here. So this person is definitely interested in being with you. This person definitely wants to couple with you. This person wants happiness with you. This person wants joy with you. This person wants that celebrating energy with you. Like I'm, I'm feeling like there are a lot of you are meeting somebody out. Possibly even at a celebration. I know sometimes like I'm even gotten comments below when I when I explain this card of the Four of Wands. It's not always a marriage. It's not always a um coupling together this could just be an actual celebration an actual ceremony here you could be meeting somebody at somebody else's marriage somebody else's um wedding somebody else's party you know so um yes i feel like this person is interested in coupling with you because of this card and the surrounding cards but you have to make sure to look at what's going on here you know and there's definitely some sort of celebration or something that you're going to be attending capricorn where i feel like you're going to be meeting somebody or you may just even be um coming together with your counterpart here this person that you're dealing with and they want to really be with you now they want to have more joy with you they want to share the love more. You see that heart in the middle of this? You can see it's cracked and there's light shining through the crack. This is what this person wants to do. They want to heal this. This person broke your heart in the past or um, Capricorn, you have been broken in the past. This person wants to help put you back together. Beautiful energy. We have the lovers here. This is a return of a soulmate's energy. This is the return of a lover in general as well. So I feel as though um, 
this is kind of just going to make me repeat myself a bit, so I won't go too much on this. But the lovers, a return of somebody's energy, Gemini energy specifically, um, we have here. And I do feel as though this person is returning back into your energy. They want to help you heal. They are looking at you in a whole new light now, Capricorn. And I feel like spirit is calling to you to have trust in this person now. But I, it's hard. It's hard, Capricorn. I feel as though you feel very imprisoned by your thoughts. I feel like you feel very imprisoned by the things you've been through, either with this person or in your past in general, where you're kind of like, look, I don't want to give my all because I'm scared that my all is going to be just crushed, that I'm going to give my all and you're just going to be like, whatever, I'm throwing it out, or it's not going to be reciprocated back by this person. So Capricorn, there is some sense of you feeling helpless and hopeless towards love or helpless and hopeless towards this person. And spirits like, look, Capricorn, like this is all in your head. Like this person is actually wanting to be with you and actually wanting to reconcile with you and actually wanting to heal this. So we have um, the Four of Wands, um, which would be fire energy, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. I have a lot of... You know, I have a lot of all of the signs, so, you know, it could always be anything um, Capricorn, so let's clarify this here for my Capricorns, spirit for my Capricorns, for my Capricorns in the first half of August in their love lives, spirit for my Capricorns for the first half of August in their love lives. Spirit for my Capricorns. Okay. Capricorn. Clarifying the Ten of Pentacles. The Three of Wands. Clarifying the Empress. The Tower. Clarifying the Seven of Cups. The page of the Knight of Wands, I'm sorry, clarifying the um, Four of Wands, the Knight of Swords, clarifying the Lovers, the Six of Swords, clarifying the Eight of Swords is the King of Cups. All right. Yeah, this person or Capricorn, you've just been dealing with a lot of players in the past, or this person was a player in the past. And it's like shocking to you that this person wants to like actually make this work now. This is kind of reminding me of your July one, like your mid-month, but I mean that was only, that reading was done only like a week and a half ago anyway, so that would make sense. The energy is just rolling through. So the Ten of Pentacles, so the Three of Wands, this person is looking towards the future of this partnership. This person is looking towards the future of the longevity of this partnership. So Capricorn, whether this is a return of somebody you know or the return of a soulmate energy that you just have not met yet, ooh, this person is going to be shockingly into you where it's going to be, you know, maybe a little bit too much for some of you Capricorns. Some of you Capricorns may just be like, whoa, wait, like slow down. Like you're giving me player vibes because of how strongly you're coming towards me. That may be what some of you Capricorns will feel like when this new person comes around. For others of you Capricorns, you're just shocked that this person wants to be with you now. You're shocked that this person wants to actually make this work, have growth with you, and actually have um, a relationship with you now. For a lot of you Capricorns as well, you actually may be being shocked because you're pregnant with this Empress energy to the tower. So some of you Capricorns may be figuring out that you're pregnant, maybe actually um, coming to the conclusion that you're pregnant, maybe actually getting word, the Ace of Swords from your doctor that you're pregnant. And that may also be why we have the Three of Cups here. Joy and um, the share the love, sharing the love with your child. This could be that third energy that's coming in here. Very, very... This took a turn, huh, with that tower to the empress. Yeah, some of you are having this shock. You're pregnant. And I feel like, you know what? Some of you Capricorns may be actually feeling this shock from somebody that maybe you weren't expecting to get pregnant from. Or maybe you weren't ready to get pregnant from this person. But for others of you Capricorns, I do feel as though this shock is definitely because this person is deciding that they do not want to be a player anymore. 
Or, you know, one of you, some of you Capricorns could have gotten pregnant by somebody who is a player and it may be causing you to have a lot of emotional confusion right now and a lot of feeling of feeling like you need to make a decision and you may be feeling like you just don't know what to do with this news. Others of you Capricorns, I feel like this person was a player in the past or possibly you have just dealt with so many players in the past that you're just shocked at the fact that this person actually wants to settle down and commit towards you when in the past maybe they didn't or in the past maybe there were just so many people that you um, encountered that just didn't want commitment and now you're just like, whoa, commitment's here, hold on, am I ready for it? You know? So Capricorn, we also have the four of wands to the knight of swords so this person is going to relay that they want to be with you quickly this person is going to relay that they want to commit to you and be together with you and celebrate with you and get, like I, oh there it is some of you may be celebrating that you're pregnant see telling you that's why like spirits like no this is not always somebody want a couple with you yes it's a ceremony yes it looks like a wedding yes this is what's the name of the card is but the intuitive sense of tarot is also just as much as just knowing what this card means you know so a lot of you may be celebrating or getting word of that there is a celebration that somebody's pregnant or that you're pregnant capricorn you may be meeting somebody there because like i said Others of you, this is not that you're pregnant. Some of you may be actually meeting somebody out. This is going to go fast. And I feel like it's going to be shocking. And I feel like that's why some of you Capricorns are like, whoa, like you may be moving a little bit too fast. You're giving me player vibes because of how fast you want to move. But in reality, Capricorn, this person is just seeing you for who you are right away. And you're me, you may just be not used to that. And for others of you Capricorns, with this person, with this lover's energy, Six of Swords, returning back into your life, returning back the return of a past lover for some of you Capricorns, you're just shocked at the fact that this person really wants to grow with you, really wants to be with you, really wants to have longevity here, really wants to heal with you with the Six of Swords, wants to move into a calmer waters, more peaceful waters. This person, possibly, you know, like I said, Capricorn in the past, this person may have chosen another person over you, but now no more. They want to move away from that. They want to move away from the conflict. They want to move away from the confusion. And I feel like, you know, Capricorn, I feel like this person is trying to be emotionally mature or you are just coming into contact with a very emotionally mature person now. And it's just causing you to feel a little bit hopeless. You're like, there's no way you're this emotionally mature. Or there's no way you're this, like, stable in your emotional body now. You know, it's like Capricorn, it's like, you're like, I'll believe it when I see it type energy. You're like, I'm not going to believe your little return because this is who you used to be. The Knight of Wands or Capricorn, this is who you're used to. Knight of Wands energy that when this King of Cup energy is here, um, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces with this King of Cups. This person is going to give you a run for your money. You're going to be like, what? There's no way that you really feel this strongly towards me. But believe it, Capricorn. For others of you Capricorns, I feel as though it's very strongly that this person chose somebody else over you here with this lover's energy, with this seven of cups, three of cups. Um, I really feel like, Capricorn, you're really feeling like imprisoned by your thoughts because of this and you know some of you Capricorns may really have been like I said waiting the balance the need to have patience to hear from this person waiting to hear from this person that they want to reconcile with you that they want to come back together with you this person could have absolutely been strayed off and has been in somebody else's energy and they turned them their back could have been on you and when they come back around I feel as though it may be a shock towards you and they may be very quick with what they have to say and you're just kind of like you're feeling like like you you may be feeling very like this is impossible like there's no way this is happening to me there's no way that this person actually wants to come back into my energy or there's no way that this person actually wants to be with me for real but believe it Capricorn because it's happening for a lot of you Capricorns, you may be getting pregnant as well. So I'm going to clarify that. Spirit, can you clarify the Empress to the Tower? Spirit, can you clarify the Empress to the Tower here? 
Can you clarify the Empress to the Tower? All right, we have the star. Oh my goodness. Yes, okay, so a lot of you Capricorns have been wishing, hoping, praying to get pregnant. And it's here, Capricorn. You will be receiving news on it. For others of you Capricorns, you've been wishing, praying, and hoping uh, to hear from somebody. I really feel that. Like, I really do feel that way for a lot of you Capricorns. And I feel like you'll be hearing from somebody. I feel like they're going to be coming back into your vicinity in a new way where they are just wanting more from this relationship. They want to give more. They want to receive more. They want to be more... Um, they want to have more healthy communication with you as well. So for some of you Capricorns, like this is your wish that this person acts right. And this person returns back into your energy. For others of you Capricorns, this is your wish that you meet a new energy that's like this. And it's shocking that it comes. It really is shocking that it comes. But Spirit wants you to trust and for you to have faith. Aquarius energy with that um, star Capricorn here. So... Very, 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 very interesting reading here, Capricorn. Somebody's coming into your energy. Um, this has been a hot, hot, hot card. And that usually doesn't come out in the theme card. So um, who else just got that clarity of belief? Pisces. So if you have Pisces in your chart, definitely check out Pisces' reading. Because they also got this. And they also, I think, as well, got somebody returning into their energy. Um, so Capricorn. Someone's here, someone wants to be with you, and somebody wants to be with you right away, whether this is somebody from the past or a new person, it's going to be a little bit shocking. Possibly a lot of bit shocking for some of you Capricorns. So, thank you for watching, Capricorn. I hope you enjoyed this reading. If you would like to book with me, you can send me an email in the description box below, or you can send me a private message on Instagram, or also, Capricorn, you can as well um, leave me a comment down below. I look forward to hearing your feedback. Bye now.